One of the most historical first-person shooters out there is 1993's Doom. It marked a shift at how games utilized the graphic capabilities of PC and invited hackers into the wonderful world of modding. Now, over 26 years later, Doom is a franchise that prides itself on blood, gore, and raising hell. But don't let its non-stop action fool you because behind its heavy artillery, Doom does have a rather interesting story. It all starts with the first game that follows Doom Guy, a Marine who quickly found himself in hot water after he failed to follow the orders of his superiors to kill innocent civilians. His disobedience earned him a one-way ticket to Mars to be security for the United Aerospace Corporation, or UAC. Although boring on paper, the gig turns out to be more than Doom Guy could ever expect. You see, the UAC is a multi-planetary business that was carrying out secret experiments on Mars and its moons, Phobos and Deimos. The UAC created a gateway for interdimensional transportation, but people traveling through them started to return to Mars mentally unstable or vanish completely. Regardless, the UAC continues to experiment until a distress call from Phobos is received that claims monsters attacked the base before the transmission is cut off. Oh yeah, at this time, Deimos completely vanishes from the sky, which leaves the UAC to send their soldiers in to investigate. Let's just say the investigation didn't go well because Doom Guy ends up being the only man standing after his comrades are ripped apart. Between running for dear life and spraying and praying, Doom Guy manages to find a portal to Deimos, which was overrun by demons and somehow transported to hell. Armed with a gung-ho attitude, Doom Guy defeated all the demons and returned home. The end. Psych. While Doom Guy was fighting demons on hell, the rest of hell zipped to Earth in a portal and invaded Earth, killing billions and more importantly, Doom Guy's pet rabbit. All of this leads to a series of fights on Earth and Hell between Hell and Doom Guy before Doom Guy finally finds himself back in Hell where he defeats the big boss called Mother Demon. Sacrificing himself for the greater good, Doom Guy closes the portal to Earth, leaving him trapped on Hell. A few games and a reboot later, Doom Guy makes a return in Doom 2016 where it was shown that while he was in hell, a demon tricks him by leading him to a temple where a demon priest separates his body from his suit and seals him away. Thousands of years later, the Earth is in an energy crisis where UAC's leader, Samuel Hayden, is looking to resolve it by using hell's power. While researching Doom Guy's tomb, one of the scientists on Hayden's team betrays Hayden and opens up the tomb, unleashing hell and awakening Doom Guy. Recommissioned to fight off demons, Doom Guy works with Hayden to find a very powerful blade called the Crucible. Although successful, Doom Guy is eventually betrayed by Hayden himself, who steals the blade and reveals that he is going to continue his research with the blade. Hayden then apologizes to Doom Guy, claiming that he's not a villain, before teleporting him to God knows where. Although left on a cliffhanger, Doom Eternal is looking to pick up right where Doom 2016 left off, bringing back hordes of demons, fast-paced action, and gore while introducing heaven to the franchise. Where will we see Doom Guy fit in all of this? Well, we'll just have to wait. The Slayer's time is now.